Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and this new tutorial on PyTor. So in previous uh, a couple of videos, we learned about uh, self-attention and also we implemented it. In this video, we will start learning about multi-head attention. So first of all, we need to understand like uh, why we need it actually, you know. So the intuition behind having multi-headed attention is like uh, one attention or one attention head can capture one kind of characteristics that are there in input. Okay. So for example, if we have a text input, uh, so there uh, are like uh, various type of uh, linguistic features. Let us say uh, one head would be able to capture uh, morphological features. Another head would be able to capture syntactic features and another head would be able to capture the semantic features and so on. And in case of image, we could think of something like uh, one head would be able to capture, um, um, say, background and uh, another head would be, would be able to capture uh, actual object and uh, then uh, another head would be able to capture the ages and so on. Okay. So the main idea behind having multi-head is like we should be able to model multiple uh, features that are there separately in multiple heads. Okay. So if we look at this image uh, here, what we modeled is just this. This is a single head. And in case of multi-head, we simply uh, copy these uh, or copy a single attention head in parallel. Okay. So here. You can see we have two attention heads. Okay, so here we have query, query, uh, query key and value, and the same input goes again another uh, feed forward layer to generate uh, query key and value matrices, and it's again goes to the uh, self attention mechanism. Okay, and then at the end we simply concatenate all the attention to create a simple vector, and then there is another feed forward network that. Uh, passes through it and then we get the actual output okay so i hope that is clear it is uh, simply like uh, we have a uh, multiple copies of a single attention definitely the weights are kind of different so in this case this forward uh, layer uh, this forward layer and this forward layer would be different from this forward layer and this forward layer and this forward layer okay and this is another uh, forward layer or uh, linear layer that is like uh, converting the con concatenated input or concatenated uh, features of various attention heads to uh, a new dimension as final output okay so let us dive in and like uh, how we can um, update our uh, attention uh, implementation to multi head okay for the sake of simplicity we will uh, implement it like very basic way and then later on we will optimize it okay so what we will do is we simply create another so we will implement two head attention okay and then we will see like what is the limitation with the current implementation and then in the next video probably we will look at it like how we can optimize it okay so let us say this is head one and then let us call this query to h1 then we can also copy it to h1 and then similarly, we will say kh1. Definitely, we will update this as well. And then similarly, we will say value h1. Value h1. Okay. So this is head one. We will simply copy this just uh, so that we don't need to update many things. And we will simply say this is head two. Definitely, we need to change this because that will be another weight learnable weights that uh, we will use so that's that's our uh, linear layers are uh, query key and value uh, learnable parameters for head 2 okay and now what we need to do is as we have done here like we compute the output we simply copy this again okay so we will call it head 2 so you see it is like very simple so this is head one and this is head two and but we need to change these uh, questions 
query key and value matrices as well and let us call this uh, qh1 kh1 and vh1 okay and similarly we need to change here as well and here we can say v h1 okay just call this h1 as well so that it won't conflict with anything that is coming later on h1 h1 okay so we got the output if you look at again here so we got this one this output from head one okay because we processed everything and we got h1 and then again we will compute and we will get h2 okay so let us do that as well so we will copy h2 and again we will say h2 h2 and again here we can say qh2 kh2 and vh2 okay and again here we need to change it to qh2 kh2 and here we will say attention score h2 here again we can say attention score h2 and then here as well h2 h2 and v2 okay and this is output for here also let us change so this is output h1 let us call it and here let us call the output h2 okay and let us print this as well so we should get exactly the same output because uh, we have initialized the weights to be deterministic so let us run and see it and then so now what we implemented is so far we have this attention and we got the output here and we have second attention and we got the output here okay now let us run and see it so next we will implement the concatenation layer. You see, this is our output one and this is our output two. So the next concatenation is like we want to uh, copy this row here. Okay. And we simply use a torch.cat at dimension minus two. So let us do that. So let us say out put h1 h2 is equal to torch dot cat and how it works we simply pass the tensors output h1 and output h2 and we pass the dimension okay here we need minus 2 okay now let us print output h1 h2 and see if what we are expecting the output is like that okay no so it is it has copied it in column wise we need it minus 1 So you see here, uh, we copied this row to with this row. Okay, so you see 1.9 and 1.9, and we have now a matrix of uh, like uh, number of inputs cross uh, head number of heads cross head dimension. Okay, so we have two input samples and then the uh, then the uh, head dimension is 3 and we have two heads that's why we have three uh, elements in each and every row okay and that's the concatenation part we implemented like we did this and then now we need a 
linear layer project it back to the uh, dimension of the query and key values okay so let us do that as well so we simply what we will do so we need to create a new um, linear layer let us call it self dot unify heads okay and n and dot linear what it should be in dimension it should be like heads do we have heads number of heads no so let us define that as well so let us rename it to head dimension And now let us uh, add another parameter, another argument in initialization. Let us call it heads. Okay. Now, as we have two heads, what we need is heads into head dimension to heads dimension. Okay. So this will be like six cross three. So we have two heads. Head dimension is 3 so it will be 6 cos 3 and uh, I already created a weight matrix for a unify head because we want the input uh, the output to be uh, deterministic so that every time we run we get the same output so we will simply initialize the weights of this new layer with the weights that we defined above Okay, so we will simply call weight is equal to W unify heads dot T and it always accepts only N and dot parameter. Okay, so now when we pass to the concatenated output with this one, we get like two cross. Um, Two cross three cross three output as a final output. Okay, so let us run and see it. So let us say final output. Yeah, output final is equal to self dot unify heads, and we simply pass it to output h one and h two which are concatenated and let us print again the output final okay so now we implemented all the components of multi head retention so let us run and see it so you see you get like uh, we have two input samples and then the the dimensionality of this concatenated uh, output from multi head is again projected back to the actual output as we are getting earlier okay so this way um in terms of like uh, more concrete implementation point of view we have added more parameters and those parameters are kind of parallel and in a sense they should be able to learn uh, various kind of uh, features that are coming from the input okay so i hope everything is clear and in the next video this is like very basic implementation so now let us see like what is the cumbersomeness of this particular implementation so now let us assume that we have 10 heads or 16 heads okay in that case what will happen is we need to create those many uh, query key and value matrices for linear transformation and then similarly you need to compute the uh, the self attention on each and every head using these many lines of code okay now you can see like there are many repetitions of code okay so we need to optimize this definitely okay that we will learn in the next video so stay tuned so bye for now take care see you in the next